my cutie? Who would have thought that two good pals bonding in 2014 over music industry nonsense and mutual friends, and perhaps even a foe or two, would have eventually fallen in love, gotten engaged in grand fashion, and then married in what some might refer to as even grander fashion today. When I called your dad to ask permission to propose, early in that conversation, he asked me, well, what do you love most about Sarah? Not expecting to be quizzed, I think my truthful, if incomplete, answer was, well, I love her generosity of spirit. I love that she goes as far as humanly possible to find the best in everyone she meets. That's all I had with that brief moment on the phone. So today I want to give you, your dad, our friends and family, a much fuller answer. Clay, you are such a gift to me. Regardless of the struggles or frustrations of the day, each day when I wake up and each night when I go to sleep, I'm filled with an overwhelming feeling of peace and gratitude because I feel so fortunate to be able to spend my life with you. You are so truly confident in who you are and that makes me feel confident to be exactly who I am. You always build me up and encourage me. You make equal space for both of our careers and goals. You inspire me so much as a musician and a professional. And I'm so proud and honored to share in all your success and be on this journey with you. I love you because you make life so comfortable and easy. I love you because you make me laugh every single day. I love that you laugh at all my puns, which is just astonishing. I love that I can describe you in absentia to complete strangers as the best person I've ever known. Your presence calms me, your smile brings me joy, your voice gives me strength, your brown eyes let me know everything you're thinking and feeling without saying a word. You always make me feel like we're a team. You're able to find humor in every situation, and I love that together we're able to turn even the worst experiences into material for endless inside jokes. I love doing dishes and hate doing laundry, and I love doing laundry and hate doing dishes. <laughs> and if that's not a good match, I don't know what is. I promise to keep insisting on having fun and finding humor in every trial. From blowing a camper tire at 75 miles an hour on a busy interstate, from trying to thaw a frozen uh, water supply, to having only $19.95 for a $20 bridge toll, I vow to be right there beside you with some jokes to help you laugh about it all. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life making you feel as happy and loved as you make me feel every single day. I love you. I'll always love you. Let's keep showing them how a power couple does it. Every moment I've spent with Clay has somehow felt important, and that's sort of been an abiding theme of this weekend, is that every moment that we've all spent together has somehow felt immeasurably important. Clay is undoubtedly one of the most gifted people I've ever known, and that talent is finally, and rightly, being recognized at an international level. Yes. Get woke, impresarios. But perhaps more impressive and inspiring to me than his considerable musical talents are two other gifts. One is his ability to make everyone in his bright and grand orbit feel loved. Clay is like a sun or maybe better a loud and destructive black hole <laughs> that draws people in and makes worlds collide. And those connections create more wonderful connections, and so it goes. It is both beautiful and terrifying. <laughs> the life of an artist in general is a struggle fraught with perils on all sides. Abject, <laughs> Clay has persevered with an iron will, proving his detractors wrong and forging a path forward where others have given up. 
Google said that sisters are different flowers in the same garden. So I think Marley and I talked about it, and we agreed that this is very true. For our family. <laughs> But it feels especially significant and applicable today as we're here in this beautiful botanical garden celebrating Sarah and Clay's love. And we know that you guys like puns, so buckle up for a flowery beach. <laughs> yeah! Clay, we are so happy to welcome you to our family. We wish you both endless amounts of love, laughter, and happiness. And our wish for you both is that you continue to love, support, and grow with each other. So it's like flowers. <laughs> so let's raise a glass to Sarah and Clay. We love you both. I always knew that whoever Clay ended up with was going to have to be a person on an entirely different level. And you are that person. You are exceptional. You are kind. You have, from the moment I met you, felt like part of this ridiculous, terrible tribe of people. May we all find as much comfort, solidarity, grace, understanding, trust, and love as Sarah and Clay have found together to the bride and groom. I keep feeling away, I keep feeling away, I keep feeling away about you. No, I can't look away, no, I can't look away, no, I can't look away, cause I need you. My heart keeps beating like an island drum, cause you're my only one. You make me feel so good.